Christmas shopping can be a complete nightmare. Queues, stress, parking, more queues. So avoid the grief and the horror. Stay home and make edible gifts. Your friends will think you've gone to a whole lot of trouble, but as Beverly Glock is going to show us, it's much easier than you think. I mean, it's the kind of thing you'll romanticise, isn't it? By the way, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. I have to say, looking at the things you brought in, I'm very excited. Because if it really is easy and the result is this fab, I might even give it a go myself. Yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> um, these are mini Christmas puds, but they're chocolate. And all you do is melt chocolate, butter, golden syrup, and then you bash up some digestive biscuits. And Great if you have a really bad time shopping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. You can make them alcoholic if you like. Um, soaking some raisins or currants in brandy or rum for a couple of days. And you literally, while they're making it into a cake, we're putting the digestive at the bottom, you just yeah, mix the whole lot together. Yeah, everything in together. You melt it and you bung it everything in together. And then let it cool for about 10 minutes and then just press it into little balls like this. And these little paper cases are just exactly what you'd make, like truffles or something. Yeah, in. You yeah. get them from, where would you buy yours from? Um, well, we sell them, but we get them from the supermarket okay. as well. Yeah, in fact, if you do, you can see them in this yeah. cake section of the supermarket. Yeah, absolutely. And you put them in like that and you squash them down. I yeah. presume you let them cool at this stage. You do. Um, and you pop them in the fridge and they will actually keep for up to a week in the fridge anyway. And then to do the toppings, this is sugar paste. I was going to say, because I can't oh, make icing. This is Play-Doh for grown-ups. Is it? It comes, you can get it in the supermarket, it comes in blocks or it comes ready well, the real cheats method. Um, it works exactly like Play-Doh. You can squidge it, you can model it. So if you muck up, you can keep putting it back yeah, together and re-rolling it. keep re-rolling it. And again, if that's something you can sometimes buy in supermarkets, but yeah. if not, you can get online. Yeah. Brilliant. So, funky flour cutter. Cut the shape out. Great. You can use any kind of pastry cutter for that. And then we need to stick it on the top. But first, we need to stick this gorgeous And this glitter, glitter. is... You can eat this. It's food safe. Food Completely safe. food safe. Yeah. In fact, you were telling me earlier that you put, put it on your lipstick. We do. Put it on lips, put it on noses, put it on everything. Glitter <laughs> it on your hair. Got a bit Christmas is the right laugh oh, in your hands. You it's get, fantastic. You're probably getting the glitter out of yourself till Easter. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we've just, just wetted damped, that. Just okay. wetted it with a wee bit of water, dunk it in, wet the top to stick it on. And then just look at that. Squid so pretty. that on. And it doesn't matter if it's wonky because it's going to look like the icing on the Christmas pudding. And, and then, then we're going to make little um, berries okay, we've got to go on. And again, this is coloured sugar paste. And it's exactly the same as the white exactly stuff. Exactly the same but thing. Just... You, can, you can buy this ready coloured or you can actually buy the colours and colour it yourself. I do the cheats method and buy it ready coloured. Okay, and, and I'll, do, I'll try and just to see if I, if I can manage to yeah. get a leaf. Mine's a bit big, my leaf, a bit clumsy. doesn't matter. And it all put, looks fantastic. And then you put them in a box together yep. like that and they just don't, just, they look just fantastic now. Yep. And the boxes, again, you can get it at gift shops. You can get it in gift shops, you can get it online, card shops, everywhere, anywhere, really. Oh, and it's delicious, rather than being heavy because mm, it's put in a biscuit base. OK, are. great. So what's next in our right, Christmas next edible Next we feast? have got the Christmas window biscuits. This is gingerbread. It's called gingerbread, it's a biscuit mix, but you have to knead it a bit like bread, which is where the bread comes Now, these from. recipes are on the website if anybody hasn't quite caught exactly what's in this, because it's a particular type that it bakes well and keeps well, yeah. is that right? Yes, it does. And you mm. can make loads of dough up, you can freeze it again, it will freeze for it's up delicious to tasting. a month and then it should keep for up to when they're ready so made. So go on, tell us what's the, um, in the, what, what, why it's a window. Why it's a window, we put boiled sweeties in. So we cut it out with a big really Christmas big cutter. Big Christmas Where do you get cutter. these cutters from? Again, you can buy them online, you can get them in various cooking shops. Fantastic. And then to get the window, this is a, a just a small cutter. Okay. Or you can just cut around the boiled sweetie. Press that in. Pull that bit out. And, and you can nibble it. I love it you raw. You can nibble it, yeah, you can And um, it. it's just full of, like, butter and flour and spices yeah, and everything. Yeah, butter, flour, spices, golden syrup. Mm. Oh, it's gorgeous stuff. And these are just and normal then, boiled sweets. They're just That's normal, so cool. They're Can't really go. cheap boiled sweets that you get in packets from the supermarket. And then... Oh, oh that's so great. cool. Really and then easy. if you want to put ribbon round it, you need to make sure you put a hole in the top just with so, a skewer or something. And you, and you, and you put, so would you put it on a rack to bake it or not? Just a normal baking tray. Fantastic. And how long do you cook them for? Um, depends on your oven. Five minutes in an arga, normal oven about eight to ten minutes. And they end up, they end up looking like these, and that's where the ribbon's gone. Yeah. And, and they don't melt, huh? I'm surprised. They that do. They melt when they're in the oven, um, so they will actually splay out. But you need to leave them on the baking tray for about 10 minutes after it comes out to let the gingerbread harden and also to let the ball sweets cool down and go hard. Fantastic. Harder. Now also over here, I just look at these fantastic Christmas cakes. Now this is such a great idea. You've got normal Christmas cake normal mix, cake mix yeah. and rather than using a 
going out and spending all sorts of money on a ba- baby baking tin. Yeah. You've actually got, what's this? Baked bean tin. That's so it's clever. Fun. Yeah. And you've lined it exactly like you line a normal yes. baking tin, um, yeah. your cake tin rather. And then you end up with this little fella. Isn't he cute? And then in the same way as we did this, what you, this is just the sugar icing. It's just again. sugar paste icing, but it's pink. You glitter it, different shades of pink. You put um, a, a circle of marzipan, a circle of white icing on there, and then put your toppings and then finish it off with some ribbon. And I love this little trick of yours. You've actually got a tube here of um, the icing that you get in a in a normal sort normal, of you know cake yeah. shop. Yeah, cake and you shop. use that instead of sellotape. So everything on it mm-hmm. is and I bet the kids have a great time they making do. this stuff. They have a great time. And I think yeah. I mean look at them, they look great, but they're the kind of thing I can imagine it wouldn't really matter, you know, how they ended up. If you've made them yourself, people just think oh. it's the wow factor. Yeah. yeah. And if you can't get the boxes, then just lump a cellar up, which you can get from most florists and I ribbon. Might, I might pinch one and give it to William for his Christmas present if he's really nice to me. What do you reckon? I think it's really nice. That was just absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much.